Hello and welcome back. My name is Amul and you are watching Niche How. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress 5.3 Kirk and also install it on the system Microsoft Windows 10. And we are going to have a look at the new features and WordPress 2020 theme as well. So expands and refines the block editor that is Gutenberg intuitive interactions and accessibility improved accessibility and obviously 2020 theme so let's go ahead and download it and install it you can read it and these are some of the changes these are the contributors and again thanks for choosing wordpress here we go so let's go ahead and download it so simply go ahead and download it go to wordpress.org click on get wordpress and click this download button here save wherever you want it to save i've got already on the desktop so i'm going to cancel it and now you can see i've got xm running on this computer i've got apache mariadb and php already and i'm running apache and mysql this is xm control panel so I assume that you already have something similar like XAMPP and you are ready to install WordPress. So here is the WordPress downloaded. I'm going to quickly unzip it or extract it in other words. And here is the extracted file. Now we need to go ahead and locate the htdocs for XMP and here it is htdocs and we are quickly going to create a folder for this new installation so here it is I'm going to just open it and keep it assigned so this is htdocs and here we have WordPress 5.3 you can see and what we are going to do, we are going to create a folder here in htdocs. So wp53, easy to remember. And then going to open it. And we are quickly going to copy everything from here or just drag down to this folder. So 19 items all in this folder here now. We can go ahead and close it and okay delete it like that perfect now what we need to have is basically uh, we are already running the apache and mysql so if you go to localhost slash the folder name so my folder name is 53wp53 you can name whatever you want and then hit enter on the keyboard and this will give you the installation page we will require something uh, called database so we will quickly go ahead and create a database here so select your language and simply say continue now this will require a database name database username password and host as well so let's go ahead and create a database you can go ahead and use command prompt if you know how to use it but I've got PHP my admin with us uh, XM so I'll go to word uh, sorry localhost PHP my admin this is kind of you you graphical user interface to manage uh, MySQL database so I'm going to create a database WP 53 and if you've got phpmy admin go ahead and create this way and that's the database name uh, we also have a username that is root i guess uh, let's go ahead and check here let's go under privileges so we got root we do not have password the host name is localhost so that's all we need right now so go ahead and click let's go and the database name is wp53 username is 
root we do not have any password this is local system so this is going to work but if you're installing on any server make sure you have the password so go ahead and click submit run the installation all right sparky you made it through this part of installation and here we are so let's say wp kirk that's the name of the musician admin admin password admin just for simplicity confirm the uh, password.com this carriage search engine from indexing this site so here we are this installation is almost done so go ahead and click log in enter your username and password and hit login so now if you go ahead and have a look at the database so you can see this has created so many tables okay so let's go ahead and close it now let's go ahead and have a look at this themes section so this is 2020 theme now let's go ahead and view the website so this is how the 2020 theme looks like okay slightly different but still more like the 2019 theme okay so this is 2020 theme let's go ahead and have a look at this uh, text editor so if you click okay so i can feel it's slightly different and the overall experience seems to be different you can see okay you can do a lot more i guess so i have not installed anything you can see oh now it gives you preview as well here on the right so heading gallery lists what these are common blocks okay formatting code classic oh what is classic oh classic editor within this Gutenberg perfect uh, custom HTML perfect table here we are so a lot of changes I can see the performance also has improved Creation group okay widgets oh widgets are in blocks now you look at that shortcut categories latest comment latest post okay perfect what do you have in latest posts cloud search okay so these were basically okay so some of the wordpress methods are in here now so this is already in previous versions of wordpress blogs gutenberg editor so that's in overall the changes in wordpress 5.3 the gutenberg and the theme so let's go ahead and have a look the look at the customizer let's see what options we have here so theme identity is almost the same uh, colors we've got default and custom colors theme options okay full text text and summary background image menu same thing primary primary social link menu widgets home page setting that has been continued since 2017 theme uh, okay that's the page name and then you've got blog do we have blog yeah okay so there's a change here now i can see it most like modern theme hmm awesome So I do not see any change in the customizer, but I see change in the menu. Oh, sorry, the theme, the th the menu, th the theme menu. Okay, here we go. So let's quickly look at this. 
a smaller version of the theme so if I go here let's quickly run this test here so this is kind of an audit that you can do with this Google Chrome browser to check a lot of things uh, here we are so this seems to be fast performance is okay okay accessibility is perfectly fine we do not have as HTTPS installed but let's go ahead and have a look page load enough on mobile network hmm okay still this needs some improvement especially the performance because now Google started checking your page load speed and they have included in console so console search console webmaster search console so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please leave your comment about wordpress 5.3 if you have any question leave in the section comment section i will try to answer it asap thank you so much again have a good day bye for now